So what have we established so far? Well, we know that the ordinary family saloon doesn't really work. We know that the people carrier is impractical, that the off-roader is really expensive, and that the Zephira is a Vauxhall. So where does this leave us? Well, I'm delighted to say it leaves us better off than we could possibly have imagined. Come up and see me. This mad car, designed by a group of people who seemingly never met, is called the Fiat Multipla. It's four inches shorter than the hatchback on which it's based, but crucially, it's five inches wider. This means that there's space inside for six on two rows of three, and that means there are no seats in the boot, which is therefore big enough for things. As a piece of straightforward, logical thinking, it's a masterpiece. Daddy's happy because it costs 13000 Mummy's happy because she doesn't have to put the kids in the crumple zone. The children are happy because it's got a mad dash, and the dog's happy because it's on television again. But best of all, Victoria's friend can go too. She doesn't have to stay at home and eat worms. Funny, isn't it? that this is the only prediction about life in the year 2000 that's actually come to pass. We don't live on pills and we don't wear Baker foil suits, but we do have to drive around in a car that looks completely bonkers.